Well, hello! Welcome to another Whippin' Chat. So, I am going to get my glue dots ready to put in to my multi-placer while I say hello to you. I hope you are having a great day. Happy Wednesday. I did not have a Whippin' Chat for you last week. Last week was a little bit... Um, hectic and anxious for me because it was just a couple days before my surgery. I think I need it in this one. Yeah. I have like some putty in here right now because I was I was in my bed and I did not want to, I couldn't get up. We'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> so I was just using regular old putty but I need to go back to my glue dots for this canvas. So welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Brie. I do diamond painting videos primarily. Sometimes I will have other types of videos, some vlogging videos. Um, I go live on Tuesday nights unless otherwise directed or something. <laughs> um, unboxings, unbaggings, shenanigans, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, and today we have a WIP, which is W-I-P, stands for Work in Progress. I'm here to just, you know, catch up on what's been going on for the past two weeks because I didn't have a WIP and chat last week, so we'll try to remember what happened the week prior. Um, and you can either work alongside me on your work in progress, or you can do your chores, you can be driving, but don't text and drive or whatever. Both hands on the wheel and look, be a defensive driver. People are crazy, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, just do whatever you like to do. I'm here to just keep you company and hopefully make some conversation. Um, so today's, what we're working on is this kit by Aura Loa. It is Totem Phoenix. And I am currently like working on this section right here on the side. This is the first time that I've been able to like sit at my desk to diamond paint since last week. I just turned on my light pad. I know a lot of people don't actually watch the diamond painting during a whip and chat, but if you happen to be. Anyways, let me get a drink of water real quick. All right, so this feels really nice. Um, I've been working on like little budget kits in my bed for the last few days because I didn't want to put this big, massive can. It's not massive, but when you're working in your bed, it seems pretty big. But, um, as far as accessories, excuse me, I'm yawning. That's not good. <laughs> as far as accessories go, um, I am using a pen from Bella Art Day Nicole. Usually I am always gravitated to my opal, my white opal pen. Um, I don't know, but for some reason I'm using this one. <laughs> it's what I grabbed. Um, and then my tray is from Cat Proof Diamond Trays. I, you'll see this in my unboxing video coming out later. I've already opened it because I have I have no chill and I can't just leave a box. <laughs> so it's it's an unboxing, but it's like a second unboxing for the small shop haul. And then um, my little tray that holds my accessories is from Lexi Sparkles. She is one of my good friends. She makes all of these trays. You can even get trays custom made to colors that you would like. Um, I am becoming like 
obsessed with, I don't want to say obsessed because there's people that like that, that's an actual like condition, a medical issue for people, but I am becoming quite, um, I don't want to say addicted either, but, um, in love <laughs> with the trays. Like I just, I want so many trays. Every time I see another tray, I'm like, oh, I want that one, but I don't need all the trays. I just want all the trays. So anyways, I have this tray. It's like my favorite colors. And then I have a light purple tray that um, I really like too. And then I have another one that's being custom made for me <laughs> because I again I have no chill um, so she's making me another custom tray and I'm really excited about it I can't wait to see that one um, but I told her no rush for that one at all <laughs> um, and then What else am I using? I think that's it right now. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to apologize in advance for all the yawning. I have no idea why I'm yawning so much. Um, I think maybe I didn't have enough coffee. Maybe. I don't know. Um, Megan ordered coffee from Amazon and it's like some off brand <laughs> and it does, it tastes like an off-brand coffee and uh, I don't know it's it's not working apparently <laughs> um, all right so I do have a list of things to talk about <clears throat> so one of the first things people are probably wondering how did my surgery go um, surgery seems to have went very well. Um, I'll tell you how the day started off. So I had a call um, a couple of days before saying that I needed to be at the... So my surgery was at a surgery center, not a like typical hospital, but at a surgery center. If you've ever had a surgery done at a surgery center, then you may be familiar with this, but if you're not familiar with it, it's a little bit different. It's not at a hospital, it's at another facility where they just do procedures. It's like a hospital, but different in a way. I don't know how to explain it, to be honest, but... Um, Anyways, it was at a surgery center, um, and they called me a couple of days before my procedure, and because my surgery was with, done with an orthopedic surgeon, it wasn't like a, a surgeon through the hospital. It was done with like a specialist, and maybe that's why it was with a surgery center, I'm guessing. Um, so they called me and said that I needed to be at the surgery center at 5.30 a.m. So got there, 5.30 a.m. And, um, I'm already on the struggle bus because, like, you can't have any food or water. Um, and, you know, my first go-to is usually to have coffee. And here I am, like, on the road to go to this place and no coffee in hand. So that was already, like, <laughs> working against me, but whatever, I guess. Um, I get there. I check in. They give me my little name band bracelet thing. Uh, make sure all the information is correct and um, they give Megan a card with my ID on it and there's a screen if you've never had to go to a hospital or anywhere where you 
had to wait for somebody to have a procedure done. This is typical at most places where there's a screen and your, your person that you're with um, is assigned a number. It's usually like seven to ten digits long and um, you can see on the screen like where are they in the process of their procedure are they getting prepped are they in surgery or are they in recovery and stuff like that so that they don't because of HIPAA laws um, they can't put like your name on a screen for other people to see so since my procedure was apparently a easy one, <laughs> I'm getting, I was getting a knee scope. Um, and I won't talk too much about like the actual procedure because first of all, um, I don't know how to describe it other than how the doctor described it to me. And I don't know if like that's even warranted to everybody. Um, it sounds kind of boring, but um, <sighs> anyways, so I was just thinking about it. I asked Megan because I had no sense of time at all. And anyway, so my, my procedure went I was one of the first ones to go because it was easy, I guess, or one of the easier ones. Um, so I went into the procedure room and then I remember that they laid me on the table. They had my arms strapped down to the sides, like out to the side not along the side of my body and then they put a mask over my nose and mouth and at first she told me it was just oxygen and then eventually she told me to breathe deeply she didn't tell me to count or anything and then that's all I remember <laughs> and then I fell asleep and then next thing I knew I was waking up to somebody saying my my full name which is Brianne I just go by Brie um, she was saying my name, like, wake up, it's time to get up. Apparently, like, it took me longer to wake up from anesthesia than it did the actual procedure to correct my knee. Um, Megan said that she talked to the surgeon after he was done, and he reported that there was a lot of gunk <laughs> in my knee that he removed. Um, I do have pictures of it, but I will spare you all um, of like a before and after picture um, of what my knee looked like before he removed the gunk and what it looks like after he did his job. Um, I then got fitted for some crutches. And then I was on my way home. It was an outpatient procedure. I didn't have to stay in the surgery center or go to a hospital. So that means that there was no complications, which is great. Um, I was honestly pretty scared about going under anesthesia. It's always kind of a scary thing, um, you know, to be put under. What if you don't wake up? <laughs> Um, so got home. I felt okay. I felt really like just fine and everything. I don't remember now thinking about it though. Um, I don't remember the ride home at all. I don't remember much of anything else about that day. I do remember not sleeping and feeling like I was fine. I didn't have any knee pain at all the first day. Um, I didn't feel like I could walk on my leg. Um, I came home with a bandage like from my ankle all the way up to my thigh and it was instructed that I couldn't remove that until Sunday. My surgery was on a Friday. 
Um, and then I had to wear these like compression things on my legs so that it prevents blood clots. Um, <clears throat> it just like every 30 seconds it goes, it turns on and it's just like, it's kind of like if a blood pressure cuff, like an automated blood pressure cuff, but they fit on your legs and it's just because I'm, I'm not supposed to be walking around. I'm supposed to be non weight bearing on that leg. Um, I do have crutches to get me from here to there. Um, but as, as far as right now, I'm supposed to be non weight bearing on the leg that I had surgery on, which is my right leg. Um, and I had my recheck today. I feel like I'm skipping a part of it though. Um, so back to Friday. Um, I don't, I don't really remember the Friday though, even though like I didn't go to sleep. Like I've been under anesthesia once before and I remember coming home and like sleeping the rest of the day. And then this time I just... I stayed up the whole time, but if I tried to remember right now, like, what I did, I can't remember anything about Friday at all. So, there's that. <laughs> and then Saturday is when I started feeling pain in my knee. So, um, they must have, like, gave me some kind of injection for pain, um, my mother-in-law is a, used to work in orthopedics. She's an RN and she used to work in orthopedic surgery. So I had been talking to her and she said usually they give you an injection of something so that you don't um, feel anything and usually everything is worse on the second day anyways. But they, she was right. Um, second day uh, I had knee pain. And, um, I was checking to see if I was in frame. I had knee pain. I started taking my medications. Well, I, I was taking my medications as prescribed the first day as well, but I didn't feel like I actually needed my medications the first day. But the second day, I definitely felt like I needed those medications. Um... And I just, then they started to make me not feel very good. I started feeling a little nauseous, but that's, that's usually how pain medications make me feel. So I wasn't too concerned about it. Um, so Saturday, we ordered breakfast from this place that's down the street from us. They delivered it, and that was delicious. And then I went back to bed for a little bit. Um, and then I diamond painted uh, on my budget painting. I found a couple of my budget paintings, and um, I just worked on those while I was in bed uh, because... I just wanted to do like the act of diamond painting and I didn't think like bringing over a bigger canvas like the one that I'm working on right now like I, I don't think I would have been able to enjoy working on something like this on a smaller table while I was bedridden <laughs> so it was nice to be able to like work on a one of those budget paintings and complete one within a day and it came out it came out cute so um tonks has been like next to me the entire time i've been home though um except today she is downstairs I think 
I don't know where she is actually, but um, ever since I got home on Friday, she has been by my side. She has not left me. It's been so freaking sweet. I just I love this cat so much. This cat is, I, I don't know, this cat is super special. I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. Um, it's just, the dogs haven't been around me, and that's on purpose, honestly, because I don't know if they would know to not jump onto the bed or where I'm at. Let me get a drink of water. I think that they would jump on me and hurt me and not realize it, and so we've just, like, put a baby gate up and not let the dogs into the back area of the house um, just to prevent them from jumping on me. Um, in passing, like I have, I've gotten up, used my crutches to go to the restroom and um, the dogs will hear me get up and stuff and they'll come up to the baby gate and like wag their tail at me and I pet them and stuff and they sniff me and they're like, what are you doing? Why can't we come with you? <laughs> it's cute and endearing and everything and, and it's kind of sad. Like I wish I could snuggle my babies, but it's just for, it's just temporary for right now. Um... All right, let's put this color back. Oops, there's some that's stuck. So, um, today I had my recheck with the doctor and um, had to get fitted for a brace on my knee and then was told that I have to do six weeks of physical therapy and then at the end of my six weeks of physical therapy, I'll have another recheck with my doctor. Um, but in the meantime, while in that meantime, like I still can't do any, I can't bear any weight on my leg. Um, I can, in, I can like stand up to like brush my teeth, but most of my weight has to be shifted onto my other leg. Um, I can take showers and stuff, but I have to make sure that I'm assisted and I have to have most of my weight on my other leg. So I have to make sure that Megan is home when I want to take a shower so that I don't fall because that would be terrible. Um, not only would I possibly injure my knee worse or um, hit my head or something. All right, let's pick another color. This one. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm, I'm going to be out for a little bit. Not out, out, but needing assistance for a little bit. But I'm hoping that in the long run it's going to be worth it because the pain that I was feeling before was so unbearable. Um, it was terrible. I hated it, especially at work. Um, I wasn't able to get on the floor. Um, I couldn't move very fast. I couldn't like a dog would just barely bump into me and it felt like I was going to fall onto the floor. My knee would lock up so bad. So it just needed to get done, but now it's a slow recovery. I'm finding out. Um, I want to thank everybody once again um, that has sent me items for my recovery, um, whether it was from my actual Amazon wish list or if you took the time um, to send me something um, 
just cause I want to thank you because everything that was sent to me um, has helped play a role in my recovery um, the crutch pads that go under your arms um, I can only imagine how my armpits would feel without those um, the leg elevation pillow I can only imagine how uh, frustrating it would be if I didn't have something like that and I had to use multiple pillows that would probably topple over all the time um, you know oh gosh what what else is there it's so many things um, the extra pillows that have been sent to me um, the good wishes the well wishes and the thinking of yous and how are you doing and um, oh the ice packs for my knee that have been swapped out multiple times you have no idea um, I just want to thank everybody again um, you have no idea um, and every time that I use one of the products if you had sent it to me um, I think about you <laughs> that's not supposed to sound as creepy as that came out <laughs> it just came out weird um I think like oh Tara sent me these ice packs for my knees so thank you Tara Laura sent me the things for the crutches thank you Laura um you know I I do appreciate I appreciate all of you so much and even if you didn't send me something but you said um, well wishes thinking of you um, praying for you um, anything like that I I do sincerely appreciate all of those thoughts as well too and thank you thank you thank you um, okay so now moving on from surgery talk because I'm sure I'll talk about it again tonight during the live <laughs> which is okay with me it's fine um, I've been watching some of the trial the um, the Letitia Stalk trial oh my god I don't watch all of it all at the same time because hold on one moment all right I'm back um, I don't watch all of it all at the same time because that trial is a lot um, if you are following it then you know if you're not following it um, just just take my word for it uh, it does have a lot of um, I'm not going to go into it in this whip and chat because this whip and chat is not about that but um, it is about a stepmother who murdered her stepson in a horrifying horrifying way um, and if you are intrigued and want to know then you can look it up but it is all over the place and the news on YouTube and everything um, so I've been watching that one it's just and um, I wanted to watch the Lori Daybell Valo Daybell one too but there's no cameras allowed so it's hard to like be current on that one I don't know who's actually covering it and that kind of stuff so I have to look into that one but I heard that that one's crazier than you would think as well <laughs> um, So those are the trials, well, mostly the one trial that I'm following right now. Um, that one trial might not be for everybody, especially if you have children. It, it's terrible. I don't have children. I don't feel like 
just because I don't have children, like I can handle it or anything. I think what she did was very disturbing. I just don't know how somebody can do that <laughs> to somebody. But yeah, I'm not sure how long the trial, I think they said that it's going to go on for a couple of weeks, but we'll see. Um, so since I didn't do a whip and chat last week, um, I can talk about how my no buy is officially over and I completed it. I did not buy any diamond paintings during my no buy. So congratulations to me. Also congratulations to Laura. She also completed the diamond painting no buy. And, you know, I think it really has changed the way I look at the way I purchase diamond paintings. Um, I have said this a few times now that I'm just like, you know what? I don't need all of them. <laughs> and I'm really glad that I did this. The diamond painting no buy. It really taught me something. So I think the next thing is going to be um, accessory no buy because um, I did go a little bit crazy without buying the actual diamond paintings. I bought a lot of accessories. <laughs> I just shifted where my money went. But I'm okay with it. So... Um, yeah, oh, God, so the only bad thing about putting new glue dots in is sometimes it's just too sticky sometimes. <clears throat> okay, I think I am done with this color. It's a bird singing beautifully outside my window. Today would be a great day to take the dogs for a walk, if I could walk. <laughs> Alright, so the I did make two purchases. Um, I have purchased from Jade, from Jaded Gem Shop, and I bought two canvases. Um, from her shop and they are both inky more um, I guess you'll just have to wait to see oops I don't need four drills I just need three you'll have to see wait and see for an unboxing to see what kits I got some people may already know because I did show in my lives which ones I picked up but so I guess you could go back to an old live and see what's in there um, and then I also purchased from DIY moon shop or DIY I don't think I say it correctly DIY Mo moon shop <laughs> um, I purchased from them because they were having a really good coupon code 50% off your entire purchase for all new um, all new if you've never purchased with them before. So I got two kits and I got um, a few of their enhancement drills. So got some of those and now we just wait for those canvases to be shipped. I don't, I just know it's a long wait. I just don't know how long. So I'm not going to get all uptight about like, where's my canvases? I just know, I know it's going to be a while. And when they show up, they'll show up. All right, what is next? This color. All righty. I think I need to eat some lunch. I'm getting a little bit shaky. Okay, so... Lexi from Lexi Sparkles, um, I think we are going to be doing an event together, um, and that's about all I can say, because I don't have any details, but 
at least I can say that much. Oops, this doesn't go here. Can't pick it up with my nail. But I do know that we have come to an agreement that we don't want there to be a lot of rules because we want it to be fun. Um, I mean, all events are fun and everything, but like when there's a lot of rules, I feel like there's too much to pay attention to. Um, and I don't, I don't find that to be as fun to me anyways. So there's not going to be a lot of rules for our event. Um, and hopefully like it'll be like my second time hosting event, hosting an event. And I'm hoping that with hosting with another person, it'll be a little bit easier for me. Um, because hosting by yourself and having a full-time job and running a channel and everything, it's a lot of work. And, um, yeah, it was just a lot of work and I don't think I did it justice. And I'm hoping that next year I can, um... I can get a better handle on the Jeremiah Kettner DP along a little bit better than I did this year, which I don't think I did terrible, but I think I could have handled things a little bit better than I did. There's always room for improvement. Always. <laughs> How did I drop so many drills? That's so weird. And then <clears throat> one of the last things I wanted to bring up is that um, if you have ever received putty from me in Happy Mail, I'm hoping that you can give me some feedback and let me know how you liked it. I am bringing putty to the Etsy shop and I would like to know your honest opinions on the putty that I made. Um, do you think it needed any improvements or anything like that? Um, let me know down in the comments below. I don't have an actual opening date for the shop yet, but I'm leaning towards um, April 22nd for the next reopening and hoping that you all will be there because I'm really excited. <laughs> um, so yeah, Pity Putty is coming to the shop and I'm looking forward to it and hopefully you are as well but I think I'm going to end this whip and chat here at this part because um, I'm getting r pretty shaky <laughs> I think I need to eat some food um, and also I need to um, take my medication and just lay down for a little bit before we were the live tonight. But I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, if you chose to hang out with me today, listen to my whip and chat. Thank you. Um, and yeah. If you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give my chan or give this video a like. Um, it helps other people know that you liked this video, and other people should give it a listen or a watch as well. And um, yeah, I will talk to you in the next one. Have a good day. All right, bye.